Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. You know this car, my ID3, first edition plus, 58 kilowatt hour battery. What I want to do today is check how much the heat takes. It's two and a half degrees right now, so not extreme winter, but a cold temperature for Europe. And I will do, redo this test when it's really cold, so minus five or something. And what I will be doing is I take this ID3, it doesn't have a heat pump, so it's a P PTC heater, I never know. <laughs> so just normal electric heater. And I will uh, drive this car on my normal Rakobi test route, which is 60 kilometers at 90 kilometers an hour. And I will drive it once with climate off. If the window fog uh, or, or fogging, I will turn the climate on, but no heat. So put it down to low, the lowest temperature that it can, but without uh, air conditioning, of course. I will come back here, we'll see what the consumption is, and then I can see if my first Rokopi test, where I had 131 or 133 watt hours per kilometer at 90 kilometers an hour at this stretch. I will, of course, drive uh, with cruise control, which is 93 on this car, GPS speed then 90. And then I will do the test again, but with uh, the climate on for the whole car, not just the driver. So the, I will turn off the eco and I will drive in comfort. I will all, drive all three uh, uh, rounds in comfort mode so that the heat is, have, has full power. And I will put it to 21 degrees, feet and window. And then I will do it again with 24 degrees and want to see what the consumption difference is. I think that's interesting. I hope you think that too. So let's get in and go. I'm on my way. Uh, so I'm on the highway. The, the drive is my Rokobi test drive, which is 59.9 kilometers an hour. Um, I'm driving 93 because this is then 90 kilometers an hour GPS speed. And I reset the trip and climate is completely off. What's my state of charge? I don't even know, 74%. Yeah, I was driving a bit faster to get to the, I heat, heated up the car before I reset the trip. Um, and as you, uh, when you remember, in my first Rokobi test, I had 133, I think, was my average consumption. So we just go. Traffic seems to be okay. Right in the beginning, when I went out of the, the highway station, I had to pass a truck with 100 kilometers an hour. So I had to accelerate the tiny bit, but it was downhill. <laughs> so hopefully that didn't change the consumption too much. Still driving, same direction. The windows were fogging up, so I turned on the climate. Stay here, I want to show. Turn on the climate to the windows, fan one and to lows, and, and AC is off, so it's not heating or cooling, just air from outside. Um, but that it, the windows don't fog up. I think it's okay. I have the live stream on, 110 people watching me driving at night, not doing anything special. <laughs> That's me. I just turned around, uh, I missed my exit. <laughs> But it was okay, I just drove a little bit further and now I'm driving back. Um, it's just a bit of a longer trip, it's not the 59 kilometers, I think it will be 77. I have 38 to go and I drove 40 right now. So consumption is high, 153, it's cold, one and a half degrees. It's getting cold in here, it's not, not comfy. <laughs> I should have kept the, the jacket on. I, uh, I took my jacket off before because it will be warm, but I can do it. <laughs> We 
have it. This is the dry run. 154 is watt hours per kilometer is our consumption at 76 kilometer driven, 85 kilometers an hour average speed. That's pretty okay. I like that. I heat up the car so I don't uh, drive uh, and, and then the car has to heat up while driving. That's a consumption that's usually not there. You heat up the car at home and then you drive with a already a temperature that you need it for your car and then you arrive, you drive with just uh, the consumption that's higher is just uh, keeping the warmth in the car. So let's heat up. I heated up the car, so this will be my settings. I drive in comfort because in eco air conditioning and heating is reduced. I don't want it. Um, I have the climate on 21 degrees and on both sides. So it heats up the whole car, even in the back. Seat heater, steering wheel heater is off. I have it in the middle here, fan, and to the window and to the feet. And I will now reset my trip here. And it got higher because of, of just standing here. I will reset the trip and then I will go and then we'll see what it says then. Do the same trip again. I'm on my way again. Already did 16 kilometers. Consumption is high. Oh my God, really high, 184, 186, that's 30 watt hours per kilometer more than before. And I just had an idea and I asked the live stream and I think I will change the test because the next round would have been in 24 degrees, but maybe this is a temperature that nobody uses anyways. But now, right now I'm driving in 21 degrees, but not in eco mode, come on, focus. Not in eco mode and for the whole car. What if the next round I drive in eco, only heat the driver area, area, area and uh, even turn down the fan and see if, so by one, and see if the consumption is way less. Let's do that. I think that's, that's more what people are using. Nobody is using 24 degrees like I am. I just like it very warm in the car. <laughs> Still going, had to turn around. I passed two, a truck and then two other cars that drove slow. It was a bit foggy. And then they passed me. So it, and I had to accelerate up to 100 or so to pass them because there were people behind me. I didn't get it. My consumption is high. Come on, there we are. 186. Come on, stay at the focus. And it's still 35 kilometers to go car says 20 minutes now it's clear again fog is gone but there's the, there's the moon the moon is so low and half and crooked cool looks great there we are 186 so that's 32 watt hours per kilometer more when you have the heat on this setting. Wow. And now I will do the same thing, but here in Eco, and I will put the drive mode in Eco, but first I have to charge. I only have 75 kilometers of range and the round is 75. <laughs> I will use less power, hopefully, but still. Let's charge a bit. Okay, so I'm in Eco mode. And my climate is in eco only for the driver. I have to fan down one, but so it was before it was here, but still 21 degrees. And now I will drive the same route with those settings and see if it's any different. I have to reset the trip, of course. Yeah, like always, do it here, but I wait a second. Just turn around for the last time. Look at the consumption, it's 171, so it's way less. Then with the not in eco mode and not in full heating a whole car. But I have to say it feels colder in here. I would turn up the heat to 22 or maybe even 23. But it's not cold. It's just colder. 
it's, it's not amazingly comfortable with the 21. I would, like I said, turn it up a bit, but it, it's also okay. So I can, I can see that some people will be okay with that setting and it's way less consumption. I mean, look at that. From 154 to 171 and the other one was 186. Well, that's okay. I like that, that it does something. And the Eco, it has nothing to do with the driving since I'm not accelerating like crazy. Uh, uh, so Eco mode in, in, as a drive mode won't change the consumption of, uh, a lot. It's the, how the heating is being used. So it's in, in Eco mode, the, the heat and the air conditioning is being reduced to save power. It's not off. It still works, but it's reduced. And I think it's okay. I don't know if it's, it does anything if you have it in eco and turn up the temperature or if you drive in comfort and don't turn up the temperature. I don't know if this is, is the same. I'm just trying, trying out things. <laughs> and there we have it. It's less, 174. Cool, but still a lot for a bit of heating. And like I said, um, so this 21 degrees, I would turn it up a bit. I would turn it to 22 or 22 and a half, but it wasn't cold. But just to be more comfortable, I like it warm, but I, I can see that other people will be okay with the, the heat right now. Sorry, my, that was wrong. Um, but see, I put the numbers here as so you can see, but I think that's it for today. I have to fog lights off. I don't need them anymore. Uh, it was a bit foggy. And the uh, temperature is now one and a half degrees. It was zero degrees. I mean, even minus zero and, uh, uh, and a half degrees before for a short time in the fog. But I think that's it for me to now. Have a great day. Oh, I can't even say it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.